Welcome back, you beauties. Officially, it is the culinary hotline. Bling! Sing, sing, sing! And if you have any conundrums, any culinary questions, please join us and join the discussion. You can WhatsApp us on 0634088863. Send us a voice note. We'd love to hear your beautiful voice this morning. And this morning, we are, in fact, focusing on sticking to our goals. And the one goal that I think a lot of us stick or struggle to stick to are uh, the food goals, just making those healthy choices, especially when it comes to the weekends. So we have got the founder of the Lean Girl brand. She is the Lean Girl, and she is a women's nutrition and fitness coach. She has gone all in in the space. Angelique Doberman is here joining us to help us stick to those food goals with some great takeaway recipes. I should have yes. started with that. Hey, yes. takeaway. So we're going to swap places so you can yes. get close to to um, not a huge array of ingredients, but all of them super healthy, and it's how we combine them that makes all the difference. Yes, mm. and keeping it simple is actually key, because the simpler something is, then we're just like, okay, I can do that. If it's too much effort on a Friday night, you're like, I'm actually just gonna get the takeaway. Completely. But that's why the takeaways have to be simple. It, it's gotta be the easier choice. The easier um, choice. And then the more you do it, the more easy it becomes. I love it. But it's gotta rest on kind of two principles for me. It obviously has to be healthy, okay? Yes. Um, and it's gotta be nice. It's gotta, <laughs> it's be gotta tasty. taste delicious. Otherwise, people are gonna kind of do it once and then it's not gonna be worth it yeah. after that. So we're that gonna go back said, to the takeaways. Exactly. So let's lay a new foundation here and I love the fact that we're taking flavor profiles that we enjoy we might not see them in this context so uh, for me this kind of healthy Asian approach is great from a flavor perspective bazooka um, but let's do it let's, let's make it practical let's Where do, do it let's make it practical okay so we've got a hot pan on the go here we are doing a chicken Asian it's like a Thai curry noodle dish. So we've Beautiful. got like the bit of crunch from the noodles and a nice Asian sauce. Um, and as you can see, it's literally like five ingredients that I we're love gonna it. throw together. Um, and all the right colors. And I mean, there's a reason why we respond so well to color. We talk about it all the time, but you do start the process with your eyes. So Absolutely, clean, yeah, all that. the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up the chicken. We're gonna throw it okay. into the pan. I'm gonna get you to chop the spring onions at the same time. So I'm it. gonna put you to work. Right. So I'm just gonna cube up the chicken chicken and we've got the hot pan on the go and then we are just going to add the onions the peppers and the chicken to that and get that browning gonna pop a little bit of olive oil into the pan and why I love fake aways so much is that when you're eating foods that you love, you don't need willpower. It takes a lot <laughs> more willpower when you're like, you know what, I can't have takeouts. I've got to have some boring, bland salad yeah. that doesn't taste good. But when you actually get to have something that you can still look forward to, but that's also healthy, I find that that's a win-win. Uh, and you start to get these little like craving snacks that you think about. and. It used to be a case of, I used to think that those cravings were hunger, but it was more my body just wanted that little dopamine release, that thing that happens when you have something tasty that you enjoy. When you can combine these two elements and you start kind of thinking about that healthy snack because it ticks a flavor box, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. It really is. And eh? It's so funny because often when people think about, okay, what am I going to have for dinner? The first thing we're like, what do we feel like? like <laughs> what do we want to taste? But we don't think about what is it that we want to put in our bodies. What is it that... What do I need? What do I need? Exactly. <laughs> and the first reason why we eat is actually to fuel our bodies. So now we're taking both boxes. So I've got, the, the, got the chicken in the pan. I've got the onions and I've got some mixed peppers. And then I'm just seasoning it up. So very important all the way. Season your food. It adds zero calories, but so much more flavor. So we just want to get these browning. And I think that's where a little bit of heat or, you know, your herbs, for instance, you hit the nail on the head there. They, they don't cost you any calories. Exactly. So make it as flavorful as you can. I think Nicole kind of, she, she came with a, um, and that's our, our head chef here in, in studio, came with this bowl of herbs. He's like, this is gold, dude gold because it's not going to make anything that you add it to less healthy just more flavorful go crazy go for it i'm all for the spices if you see the spice rack in my kitchen <laughs> it's like it's insane. and there's some good basics like salt pepper paprika garlic powder onion flakes 
a bit of chili flakes, mm. and that will pretty much season most things. Just about really, anything. Really beautifully. And, and you mentioned the chili flakes. What I like about that is it's a bit of warmth, a bit of heat without being kind of too like bird's eye chili in your face exactly. heat. And that can just make all the difference. Just a bit of light and shade, if you will. Have you ever had everything but the bagel seasoning? No. So if you've had a delicious bagel, mm -hmm. often what they put on top, you know, like with the sesame seeds, mm. the onion flakes, the garlic, the like bit of sea salt, that actually comes in a seasoning get now, out. and I throw it on everything. Oh, on eggs, out. on sandwiches. <sighs> okay, so our chicken's browning nicely here. And then it is honestly this simple. We are going to throw in our noodles. We are going to pour over this lovely low calorie mushroom soy stir fry sauce Ooh, that's already done for you. So beautiful. all the flavor is already in here. So a lot, a lot of the times when you're making a sauce, it actually takes a lot of time to get flavor into it. So it's a lot sure. of processing. So things like this is such a simple win where you don't have to take all of the time. You and basically have all the flavor. And yeah, you've got a team of food developers um, that are, are going through a particular gateway in terms of the amount of calories that they're allowed to put into there, but they are working tirelessly to create the best flavor possible. So lean on that. Exactly. Enjoy it. Yeah. Exactly. So I want everyone to think about like what their favorite takeaway is on a Friday mm. night and then try and see how you can get the same feels but with something that actually makes you feel good. So if you want that pizza, how can you have the pizza but make a low calorie version? And by the way, I've got I've done a lot of the work because <laughs> that's what I do. So all the recipes you can find on my Instagram page as well. So I do every single fake away you can do. It's the fake away plugin. It's the fake away plugin, basically. Um, I love that. And I, I go on a lot about this with my kids because now that I've kind of I suppose I'm being educated. I, I work with amazing people, like someone like Ryle, for instance, has been a tome, an encyclopedia of healthy choices for me to make. But now I'm like, okay, how do I instill that with my kids? Yes. And you've got to involve them in the process. And something like taking their favorite takeaway and turning that into a meal that we can make together, that's like a night of the most amazing family fun, never mind the nutrition. It's Absolutely. awesome. I love the sort of build your own Completely. moment. So you can do that with like, I love to do a pita pizza. So mm. you basically cut open a pita. I'm just popping the noodles in now, which are already cooked and ready to go. Um, so you basically just cut open a pita. You add all of your favorite toppings as you would on a pizza. So you put the sauce on the bottom, then you put your favorite meat, veggies, cheese on top, oh, pop brilliant. it into the air fryer, boom. Boom. Pizza. For half the price. For half the price, <laughs> exactly. And now we're gonna go in with some of our sauce. And yeah, you can see the textural element is just off the chart We've got as well. all the things going on. And it's worth thinking about it from those kind of that basis point. The color is absolutely important. You want to make sure you've obviously got the mix there. The mouthfeel is something that matters more than most of us, I think, really take on board. You've got to enjoy the eating process. If you like crunch, make it crunchy. Yes. You know, give yourself... Variety is, is the key. So that's why when we're going to add the um, nuts on top of this, that's going to give that bit of crunch. If everything is like soft and mushy, it doesn't give you the feels. That's like the most, if you think about the most delicious bites, it's always going to be the ones that have variety. So I'm going to, do you like heat? I'm going to go in, in with, a little, <laughs> with a little chili. This is green chili, so it shouldn't be too hot. It was hot. the teeniest little pinch of chili ever. <laughs> you can see that I'm a baby when it comes to, um, when it comes to heat. All right, and we are good to go. How long did that take? Oh, man, I'm going to say... Faster than the food delivery. I, I, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> it might have broken a record there. It really is that simple. If you start with a good plan, you include the right elements, and you follow your flavor profile, you are winning. Don't worry, we have got more fake aways coming from the lean girl, um, and we might, if he is good this morning, maybe, just maybe, give Raul a taste. <laughs> it's my feel-good breakfast show. And we're going to power up some more delicious meals and inspiration with this beautiful soul over here. Yes, it is officially, ladies and gentlemen, the Culinary Highlight Bling! Ting, ting, ting! You getting used to that? I am. I kind of <laughs> like it. I might steal that and take it home. You can, you can run with it because you've given us so much already this morning. I loved what you did with the noodles earlier. It's something that I would eat for breakfast, lunch, supper, a snack, you name it. It ticks all the boxes. Yeah. And I think this next one's going to do the exact same thing, right? It is. What do you got for us? Today we are going to be making for round two, which is more of a lunch dish, yeah. which is nice. I feel like the noodles is maybe a bit more for dinner. Uh -huh. So this Agreed. is if you want something super quick and easy and... 
Do you love sushi? Who doesn't love sushi? Who doesn't Bring love sushi? Bring it on, exactly. yes. For me, I love it because it's like uh, my, my old self just says protein and some exactly. carbs, but right. there's so much more going on here. It's got all the macros, yeah, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. And so this is going to save calories because actually sushi is not that low in calories, especially okay. if you're making the ones with the tempura, with the sauces. Deep fried. Deep with fried, the, yeah, exactly. And the, and the mayo that you just want to dip in three times. Exactly, that cupy <laughs> mayo. So this is a nice version. So it's a sushi prawn bite. Ooh, yum. And so it's inspired by sushi, so it's got all the sushi flavors, but it's got half the calories. And like we all know, January is like a thing. Thing, right, so this is also going to save the normal budget and the calorie budget. Everybody listen when you said half the calories. Wait, wait, what? Okay, let's listen to this. <laughs> Pay attention, Zanzi. If you don't know what we're talking about, this is Lean Girl. We're talking about Ange Doberman's recipe inspiration when it comes to fakeaways. Fakeaways. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yes. So sushi snacks. We want to switch sushi over snacks. here because it looks let's, like you're going to be on that side. Let's switch it over. Yeah. All right. So this is also going to be super quick. Mm -hmm. We've got some rice cakes here. We can You can use rice cakes or corn cakes, whichever okay, one cool, you prefer. Cool. We've got some rice cakes here. And then we're going to start off with some nori, which is normally like, used in sushi. Yes. So it's a seaweed sort of paper. Yeah. And we're going to start by cutting it into four. And this is quite a clever hack because it's going to save our rice cakes from getting soggy when we oh. add all of the ingredients. So we're going to pop those on the top of our rice okay. cakes. And then we are going to get the wasabi flavors going. So how, how are you with spice? Yeah, um, of late I haven't been that great, but I can, I can, I can, can face take it up some heat. Notch. Yeah, I can face some okay. heat. Okay. So we've got some wasabi and then we've got cottage cheese, which is one of my favorite ingredients yeah. of all time. And so we are going to add a bit of the wasabi. I won't be um, too heavy handed with that, <laughs> but that is going to give us... You're being a, gentle with me. Well, nice. I'll be gentle with you, but it also gives it a beautiful green color. And then we are going to pop this onto our rice cakes. So we're just going to give it a bit of a dollop and on each one. And while you're doing that, obviously you mentioned this is one of your favorite ingredients, talking about the cottage cheese, The right? cottage What's cheese. What's the reason for that? I pretty much use it for everything because uh -huh. it is so high in protein, it's low in fat, and it's delicious and creamy. So anything that you can think of, I add it to. So okay. think about like an avocado toast. Yeah. It's not very high in protein. Mm. Throw some cottage cheese in there, add your spices, and now it's creamier, and you've got a protein yeah, sauce. Yeah, with a texture like this, it can actually work with a lot of things, actually. I'm thinking, like, just you add it to almost anything. Add it a great to substitute for some of the unhealthier sauce options that we sometimes can't exactly, say no to, right? Exactly. So all the creamy sauces, rather add cottage cheese. You can even add, in, add it into your eggs. Ooh, so you've got protein. Okay. Double, you're doubling up on the protein. Okay. All right, so there we have that. Then we're going to add a few fresh ingredients, which are always important mm -hmm. when you are making a good lunch. You want the micros in there. You want all of those nutrients that you can get. I'm like, we don't just want to look good, right? But we want the beautiful yes. skin. We want the hair. Fueling we from want the, the inside. energy. Yeah. So we're going to add some grated carrot and some cucumber. Again, this is all of our sushi, normal sushi ingredients. Yeah, sushi nuances. And I love the fact that we're still incorporating lots of color here because a lot of people do eat with their eyes. So that's giving you that extra stimulation when you are chewing. Yes. I see textures as well. So all the creaminess, textures. we've got crunch. We've got micronutrients here from the carrots, beta carotene. We've got some great vitamins, fiber, you name it. Macros being we ticked got as all well. The like, macros come too. on, it's just all out here. And this is just a snack. It's just, <laughs> okay, we can have this for lunch. We can have this for I lunch. I also think so. This is worthy <laughs> of more than just a snack. This is meal worthy indeed. Meal right, worthy. So let me not distract you. You got the final ingredient protein, which uh -huh. is going to be our prawns. Nice. And we're going to add a bit of light mayo. So, this is another good tip. When you are going for mayos or sauces, going for lighter or lower calorie versions can save you a ton of calories. Mm. So a light mayo, for example, would be maybe 30 calories a serving, where your regular standard mayo may be 100 calories. Cheapest, so cheapest. this is maybe a quarter or a third of the cows just by dropping and changing out your sauce. Yeah, have you ever like done or made your own mayo before? Have you seen how much oil you put into it? You put it's a scary, lot of yeah. oil. You <laughs> basically keep going. You yeah. keep going on the oil. So I definitely resonate with that. That's that's a great tip because a lot of us don't realize how many extra calories we're getting and putting in by just adding an extra sauce. And we think that it's a free sort of cull that you can just go crazy with. Well, exactly. It's because the volume doesn't look like a lot, right? Mm. So I mm. often say that with um, oil as well. So when you're throwing oil into the pan, not to be too heavy handed, I actually love to use a spray and cook or like an oil spray. Smart, calorie and you conscious, can yeah. really actually control the portion because one tablespoon of calorie of oil is the same calories as a slice of bread. 
It's 100 Yo, calories. What are you going to choose? What Slice are you going to choose? A, a sandwich, sorry, or a spoon of oil? Come on. Exactly. Make, make your wise decisions, people. Exactly. <laughs> and nice. you get more volume. And then last but not least, we're going to do a bit of healthy fats. Nice. Um, well, just, just, could it get better? Of course it, it can. Yeah, some healthy fats in there we too. We can add some beautiful avocado into the mix. So we can do a nice few slices and add it on top. And then I'm going to ask you to actually help me uh -huh. with adding a bit of seasoning on each of these. Oh, geez, you brought me in for like the, the after, extra hard stuff. After yeah. the avocado. <laughs> But you know you have to do the salt bay. Okay, you know? okay, so cool. The, that it, takes it a lot, does, of, a lot of effort a and expertise. Of so I heard that you've got to get the angle specifically Let at me see. just short of 45 degrees. So talking about like a 42 degree angle. And then just this, oh, there we go. Now this, this is not your first it. radio. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it. But I think you're quite clever because you didn't involve me in any of the other ingredients because you knew I'd mess this up. So you kept me on just the seasoning. <laughs> but wise stuff indeed. And I got to say, this is incredible. It How looks gorgeous. good. Ticks all the boxes like we spoke about when it comes to nutrition. And wow, the textures on this is just going to be absolutely incredible. So uh, I'm going to try to resist not biting to this just yet, but we will <laughs> do that in the break. I just want to remind you, Mzanzi, that you can get so much of this recipe inspiration, not only at expressioshow.com, but if you go and follow Lean Girl online, she's doing some incredible things when it comes to making life easier for fueling yourself, for creating good hacks, and I think just overall consistency when it comes to health, right? Absolutely. Because yeah. when you love the food that you eat, you don't need willpower. You are like, I look forward to my lunch, to my breakfast, to my dinner and yeah, getting all the Spoken good things like in. a pro. All right, well, we've got one more segment coming at you. This is part two of three, so I can't wait for the next one. But for now, though, let's see what else we can look forward to for the rest of our show. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Yes, I'm Zanzi. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We are keeping things feeling so good. We've had so much entertainment, so many great conversations, and we're heading into the kitchen one last time with this beautiful soul over here. Lean Girl has come through with so many incredible inspirational recipes, and especially ones that are ticking the box when it comes to low calorie. I've loved what you did. Recapping on what we've just done for the morning, we did yes. uh, step number one was the noodles, right? Yes, chili knife noodle. Uh huh. Low calorie version on your favorite Asian takeout. Nice. And then we did the prawn sushi bites, which, by the way, if you're not a prawn fan or January is yeah, a that's situation, a real thing. you can also do that with a can of tuna, tuna mayo mix, and that also works out beautifully. Nice. And now we're on to my favorite part, actually, which is the sweets. Yes, and this is where I'm like, I don't believe this. There's no way you can low calorie fry an ice cream. Come on, surely. Is that yes. possible? You, you sure, you you sure as hell can. You, you've done it. Just before we get into this, though, we have so many voice notes, so many people coming through. They're loving what you're sharing, firstly. We've been sifting through a few. We've got a voice note we want to share with you. I think this one's from Sipo. So awesome. let's just hear what he says before we get into it. Let's hear it. Hi, good morning, Expresso. My name is uh, Sipo. Um, I love cheesecake a lot. And uh, what's an alternative for healthy cheesecake? Thank you. Uh, healthy? Well, healthy cake in general, but he's specifically asking about cheesecake. Uh -huh. He loves it. Is there a healthy alternative or a way to make it healthy? Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. it's Sipo, right? Yeah, yeah, Sipo. You're a man after my own heart because <laughs> cheesecake is my favorite dessert of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have certainly come up with some healthier versions. So I actually have two, which you'll find the recipes on my Instagram okay, page. Nice. I have one which is a fridge cheesecake, which has got a beautiful lemon flavor. And I actually use either Greek yogurt or actually my favorite ingredient, cottage, cottage cheese. cheese. of course. Um, and I also have a baked version, which is so simple. It's basically cottage cheese and egg, a bit of sweetener. You can add some protein powder into the mix put it in the oven and it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, so Sipo, go head on to her socials. You'll find that and more inspiration when it comes to these recipes and alternatives for almost everything that you can think of. And speaking of, we're talking about dessert right now. We've got some ice cream in front of us and somehow you're going to lower the calories on this option and um, come through with the goodness again. So yes. how are we doing this? So what we are making here is a chocolate cookie blizzard. Yum. Okay. And the secret here is we are switching out regular vanilla ice cream for a low-fat version. And so we're actually going to get a bigger portion and it's going to be half the calories. Oh, nice. Which, okay, which I'm we, sold. Which we Let's are sold on. It. Exactly. Lovely. So if you had to get an ice cream, vanilla ice cream of the same size, it would probably be three times 
the, the calories. calories. Oh, wow. For the same portion. So just having something that's lower in fat. So this is the low-fat frozen yogurt. We immediately slash in the calories, but it's still really delicious. But I don't know about you, but I love a good bit of texture in my ice cream. Yes. So we're going to add some cookies into yes, the mix. Yes, bring it on. Um, so I just want you to pop those into the Nutribullet container oh, for wow. me. Oh, wow, okay. So we are actually using both of these, which is going to make one portion. Well, I grab that spoon. There well, you go. Thank you very much. Sorted. So both of these are going into the blender, Both right? of those okay. are going into the blender. Now I'm confused. I'm like, how? and what are you going to do with this but let's find and out. by the way if you don't have a blender you could also just take your frustrations out on the cookies <laughs> and you, you can, can just work out as well you can work out as well <laughs> and you can just hand mix it and then we're going to throw in two chocolate biscuits nice and we're giving it a whiz and our low calorie dessert will pretty much be sorted Oh, is that it? That's really simple. That okay. is it. So that was a time where we can share some crazy secrets while I everyone can hear us. I remember this part. I like it. <laughs> Are you ready? Right, go ahead. Go Let's wild. Go, go crazy. Mm. Oh. Okay. How good? Okay. Okay. It's coming together. It's coming together. It's looking good. I can immediately done. see how the chocolate biscuit just like totally blends blended and crumbles through in. It. But I hope it doesn't uh, stop the texture change from coming through because I still hope that there's that little bit little of crunchiness. A little bit of the crunchiness. Yeah. I think we're going to do it. So we're going to, this is all one portion. So we actually, I'd love you to pop that into so the dish So we're taking one portion and actually splitting it into two right now. Well, if we want to taste it, each, each of us can taste it. We can make it two. I feel like we should just pop it in that one dish yeah, and just that. make a big oh old portion. Gosh. So I'm... this is for one person. And then what you can do is you can add Wow. An extra gorgeous biscuit on top. Wow. And, and for fun, we can just... I know you like the texture, Ralph. So I do indeed. Just, oh, yes. Just for you. This is like your version of the cherry on top. The I love it. The cherry on top will add, add a few extras. And... That is about 250 calories for Literally that big, gorgeous dessert. So quick and easy, so, so quick and simple easy. to make, but yet so elevated at the same time. And the yes. fact that this is a low calorie option means I'm absolutely sold. Mzanzi, we have nothing more to do other than head over to Lean Girl's social pages, find some more of these recipes. You really have come through this morning and I can't thank you enough. You've made it sound and seem so simple, so easy, but yet so effective. And that's what I'm celebrating this morning. So a great job. Well done. Thanks, Thank you so much, Angelique, for coming through. I think everybody right now is not only just salivating at this, but also getting excited because we've got options now. We've got we've a got new options. vigor when it comes to making exciting, healthy meals. Yeah, and that's fat loss to you. can be fun. Just with a that. few good recipes. Booyah. Yeah. Well, again, a reminder to find her on all your social media channels. Uh, Nat's uh, Instagram, uh, you name it. Everything. She's there I'm, online. I'm all over it. <laughs> what you've got to wait for is nothing else other than magic coming at you. And this is your feel-good breakfast show. The Culinary Hotline Bling is officially done and dusted. We'll see yes. you for another one next week.